LLMs have come a long way in the past year or so. Though we are continuing to see huge progress almost every week, there are three problems that still remain to be addressed. One is hallucinations, where the LLM receives queries extended beyond the model's training data, and so the model comes up with imagined answers. Second is outdated knowledge, where the model is not aware of some domain-specific information or events that happen after the point in time when the model was trained. Third is reasoning capability, which almost every LLM seems to have. So RAG, which stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, tries to address both the outdated knowledge and hallucinations problem. It was introduced not long ago in 2020 in this paper titled Retrieval Augmented Generation for Knowledge Intensive NLP Tasks. They propose to combine a pre-trained retriever along with a pre-trained sequence-to-sequence -sequence model, which is a generative model, and show that combining them both leads to better performance of the generation model. So in this video, let's dive deeper into Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG in short. Before we jump in, I would like to give a quick shout out about our Twitter account where we share the latest and the greatest AI papers, research news from top AI labs every single working day of the week. So what is RAG? If you take a standard LLM, the user interacts or queries using a prompt and the LLM gets back to the user with a response. This is fine as long as the LLM has an answer. But if the query is totally alien to the LLM, it starts making up answers, similar to how we start guessing answers when we do not know them during the exam. So with RAG, we introduce a database of knowledge and every time the LLM receives a request, the database is queried. And the data retrieved from the database is then augmented to the prompt received from the user by some means and the augmented or combined input is fed to the LLM, which in turn responds, this time with a much better contextual information. This way of providing additional context seems to firstly reduce hallucinations because the LLM gets much more contextual information about the user's prompt and the information in the database can bring in an up-to-date information. Clearly, thus retrieval from the database augmentation of the input with additional information and this generation of the output from the LLM, making it retrieval augmented generation. Obviously, we oversimplified what goes on under the hood. For example, this indexing, embedding, chunking, searching, and many more going on. So putting them all together forms the RAG framework Let's dig deeper into the RAG framework and understand each of the elements now. It all starts with external data or knowledge that can be in the form of a PDF document, HTML pages, markdown, or even Word documents. Whatever be the format, indexing is the process of cleaning and converting these formats into a standard text representation. LLMs have something called the sequence length beyond which they cannot take the input data anymore. For this reason, the clean text data from the previous step goes through chunking. Now chunking is the process of dividing the text into equal sized data. In this example, the input text is divided into three chunks. These chunks are then passed through an embedding model. The output of the embedding model is a list of chunks of fixed size, which is called embeddings or vectors. Let's fix the length of this vector in our example to be three. So let's say chunk one got embedded into values 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Similarly, each chunk can be vectorized to get their corresponding vectors. The mappings between these vectors on their chunks are stored as key value paths in a database. These databases have a special property compared to traditional online transaction processing or OLTP databases. And so these databases are referred to as vector DBs or vector databases. These sequence of steps such as cleaning, chunking, embedding is all referred to as indexing. 
Now, indexing has led to the creation of data in the vector db in our rack framework. Once we have this database, whenever a user queries or prompts, the query is passed through the same embedding model we use during the indexing so that the query gets embedded into vectors. We then run a similarity search and compute a similarity score between the query vector and the vector chunks stored in the database to retrieve or fetch the top k answers, which is top three in this example, that are most similar to the input query. The results are sorted from the most similar to the least similar. In this example, even though chunk one with values 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3 seems to be the most similar to the query, the top three results are returned as per the setting. And this process is called retrieval. These retrieved chunks provide additional context to the LLM and so needs to be combined with the user prompt. This process of combining the retrieved knowledge with the prompt is referred to as augmentation. The augmented query is then fed to the LLM to generate a response. Now, augmentation can be as simple as adding the retrieved text to the end of the prompt. Now let's look at an example to understand the simple RAG workflow. For this, let's consider the well-known Sam Altman story of his dismissal and reinstatement from OpenAI as the CEO. The user asked the question, how do you evaluate the fact that OpenAI CEO Sam Altman went through a sudden dismissal by the board in just three days and then was rehired by the company, resembling a real life version of Game of Thrones in terms of power dynamics? So without RAG, the model responds by saying, I'm unable to provide comments on future events Currently, I do not have any information regarding the dismissal and rehiring of OpenAI CEO, which is totally fair. But with RAG, we get all these documents and the news articles related to the story, and then we chunk them, embed them, and then store them in the vector DB. So now, when it receives the query, it goes through a search and retrieval operation, and then gets three chunks which are very close or very relevant to the user query and the three chunks returned from the DB are Sam Altman returns to OpenAI as CEO Silicon Valley drama resembles the Zen Huang comedy. The second chunk is the dramedy concludes Sam Altman to return as CEO of OpenAI both to undergo restructuring. The third chunk returned is the personal turmoil at OpenAI comes to an end, who won and who lost. These chunks are then augmented to the user query or prompt by just adding one more line, which is please answer the above questions based on the following information. And all three chunks are then just appended to the end of the prompt. And finally, with that information, the LLM now returns the response, which is this suggests significant internal disagreement within OpenAI regarding the company's future direction and strategic decisions. All of these twists and turns reflect power struggles and corporate governance issues within OpenAI. So that's how you enrich an LLM with up-to-date information by retrieving and augmenting the generation process by simply adding a database. Now, one of the beauties of RAG is that you don't have to deal with any training or fine tuning the model, but there are situations that put you in a position to actually fine tune the model. Let's, see, let's look into that in our next video. Until then, I'm signing off and I will see you in my next. Take care.